Hello everyone, welcome to Success Education. Today we'll be doing the workbook solution for English that is Marigold workbook for standard 5 unit number 1 that is Ice Cream Man. Before that if you have not subscribed my channel till now please do subscribe it for more videos. So we'll be starting with the question answers. First one, in which season is Ice Cream Man popular? I mean the ice cream is popular. Ice cream is popular in summer season. Second, who is everyone's favorite person in summer? Ice cream man is everyone's favorite person in summer. Third, describe the ice cream man. The ice cream man goes trundling down the street with his little cart and a round umbrella. Fourth, what is a joyful sight? Seeing the ice cream man fill cones with mounds of ice cream is a joyful sight. Fifth, who feels joyful on seeing the ice cream man? Children feel joyful on seeing the ice cream man. Sixth, name the different flavors of ice cream uh, the ice cream man has in his cart. The ice cream man has vanilla, chocolate and strawberry flavors of ice cream in his cart. Seventh, what are the two things that the ice cream man is selling? The ice cream man is selling ice cream and chilled drinks from the bottles of Frosty Fizz. Right? Eighth one. What is the ice cream cart compared to in the poem? The ice cream has been compared to a flower bed in the poem. Ninth. Why is the ice cream cart called a flower bed of roses and sweet peas? The ice cream cart is called a flower bed of roses and sweet peas because of the way the children gather round it like honeybees. Now we'll see the MCQs. First one, ice cream man is popular in the summer season. It's option number B. Second, the ice cream man comes with his cart. It's option number A. Third, the ice cream man fills cones with mounds of ice cream. It's option number C. Fourth, the ice cream man sells ice cream and cold drinks. It's option number D. Fifth, which flavors does the ice cream man have? It's option number B. Vanilla, chocolate and strawberry. Sixth, the ice cream man's cart is like, uh, it's option number A. Flower bed of roses and sweet peas. Seventh, the children gather round the cart like honeybees. It's option number D. Eighth. The ice cream man is a favorite person in summer. It's option number C. Now question number 3. Write the rhyming words. First one street. Second one white. Third one pink. And fourth one drink. Question number 4. Write the meanings of the words. First one bright flame or fire. Second one heap or by, uh, pile. Third one very cold or icy. Fourth one together around or group of similar things. Now question number five write the describing words of the following from the poem. First one is joyful sight. Second little cart. Third one round umbrella. Now we'll see the question answers for wonderful waste. First one what were the preparations in the palace for? The preparations were made for a grand dinner in the palace of the Maharaja of Travancore. Second, why did the Maharaja go into the kitchen in the afternoon? The Maharaja went into the kitchen to examine the dishes that had been prepared for the grand dinner. Third, what did the Maharaja see in the kitchen? The Maharaja saw a basket of vegetable scraps in the kitchen. Fourth, what had the cook planned to do with the vegetable scraps? The cook had planned to throw the vegetable scraps. Fifth, what did the Maharaja order the cook to do with the vegetable scraps? The Maharaja ordered the cook to not waste the vegetable scraps and find a way to use them. Sixth, what did the cook do with the vegetable scraps? The cook prepared a new dish with the vegetable scraps and served it to the guests. Seventh, what did the cook name the new dish? The cook named the new dish avial. 
Now question number two that is MCQs. First one. The Maharaja went into the kitchen to survey the dishes made for the feast. It's option number D. Second, the Maharaja saw a basket of vegetable scraps. It's option number A. Third, the cook had planned to throw away the vegetable scraps. It's option number C. Fourth, the Maharaja ordered the cook to find a way to use the vegetable scraps. It's option number B. Fifth, the cook prepared a new dish called avial. It's option number A. Now question number three that is true or false. First one, the king had ordered a dinner in the palace. It is true. Second, no one had heard of or tasted avial before. It is true. Third one, the cook had planned to make another dish using the vegetable scraps. It is false. Now question number four, write the meanings of the words. First one, very big. Second, to inspect. Third, to order. Fourth, strictly. Fifth, a situation hard to escape from. Sixth, to look at. Seventh, attractive. Eighth one, keen. And ninth one is to think of. Now, we'll see the exercise for bamboo curry. First question is complete the sentences. First one, the bridegroom left with the door of his in-law's house because it was made of bamboo and there was no bamboo in his village. Second, the bridegroom was unable to have bamboo curry in the end because it was made from bamboo door and it was too hard to eat. Now question number two, write the meanings of the words. First one, very tasty. Second one, to cut into pieces. Third, husband and wife. Fourth, stupidity. Now we'll see, let's learn more. In that question number one, write two rhyming words. First one, street, cheat, wheat. Second, blaze, phrase, days. Third, mound, ground, sound. Fourth, drink, pink, think. Fifth, brick, click, stick. Now question number 2, write at least 5 words with the Z sound. So you can see the example that is rise and the answers are prize, maze, blaze, raise and chase. Now question number 3, write what you like to do in summer. Uh, so we like to play indoor games like carom and chess, go to a garden late in the evening, go for swimming. Go to a water park and eat ice creams and drink cold drinks. Now question number 4. Write what you like to do in winter. So it is go for a walk early in the morning. Play games and sports. Go for a picnic. Drink hot chocolate. And eat lots of fresh vegetables and fruits. Now question number 5. Underline the adjectives in the sentences. In this, I will only speak out the adjectives. First one, big, red and blue. Second, light, cotton and hot. Third, two and small. Fourth, old and cute. Fifth, many, poor and honest. Sixth, blue and lovely. Seventh, fat, old and thin. Eight, three red and blue ninth many young and new and tenth one beautiful and pink all these are the adjectives now question number six fill in the blanks with appropriate adjectives first one this is a short rope give me a long one second ankit is a good boy third the peacock is a beautiful bird fourth English is very hard. I do not understand it. Fifth, ice cream is cold. Sixth, the elephant has four legs. Seventh, do you like hot coffee or cold coffee? Eighth, Nisha is a good girl. Ninth, the teacher scolded the naughty boys. Tenth, can you help me the, uh, help this old man? Now question number 7 is make sentences using the given homonyms. 
for that first one watch what is the time in your watch did you watch the whole movie second bear bear is an animal we saw a bear in the zoo he will bear the loss third one is address the chief guest will address the students i do not know her address fourth fine she is fine now the policeman asked the car driver to pay a fine fifth one iron she will iron the clothes there are iron swings in the garden sixth one can keep this can on the table how can do uh, how can you do this work seventh one is just the just sentences are uh, by mistake written down and the bank sentence are written upwards so you can see the just sentences i have just received your letter this is not a just price for the book eighth one is bank mr shaktawat work in a bank there is a hut on the bank of the river ninth one fly there is a fly in the soup let's fly kites tenth one book i put my book in my bag will you book the air tickets now question number 8 write 10 sentences on my day or my favorite season so we'll write about my day i get up at 6:30 am every day i brush my teeth and then have my bath i have my breakfast at 7 am i get ready quickly and go to school at 7:30 am i come home at 1 pm i have lunch with my mother I like to tell my mother about my school activities then I go to sleep for some time when I get up I do my homework and then watch TV for some time I go out to play with my friends in the evening after I come we all have dinner together we sit and watch TV sometimes I also read a story book I go to bed at 10 pm Now question number 9 that is write a report on the cleanliness campaign by your class so we'll write the report as last week the students of class 5 conducted a cleanliness campaign in school and the surrounding area the area around our school has been facing a number of problems throwing garbage outside the houses collection of garbage and spread of diseases first we cleaned our school We put a dustbin in every classroom and taught the students the importance of cleanliness. We also cleaned our playground. We also watered the trees and planted some saplings. Then we went to each house in the area to request people to keep their houses and surroundings clean. We asked the people to stop uh, throwing garbage and waste outside their houses. We cleaned the roads and put up posters about cleanliness. we created an awareness about the dangers of air pollution and spread of diseases it was a very interesting campaign all the children enjoyed it now last question that is question number 10 uh, 10 draw and co uh, color your favorite ice cream and write a few lines about it so we'll uh, you can see the uh, ice cream drawing and uh, then you uh, will write the paragraph as My dream ice cream is the strawberry ice cream. It is an ice cream made with strawberry or strawberry flavoring. It is made by mixing fresh strawberries or strawberry flavoring with cream, vanilla and sugar. A strawberry ice cream is pink or light red in color. It is very tasty, very sweet. It looks lovely pink ice cream in an orange cone. It is also available in a cup. Eating the cool sweet ice cream on a hot summer day is the most delightful activity. And here we come to the end of the chapter that is ice cream man. I hope you have understood the complete chapter. If you have any doubt you can write in the comments section. I'll surely try to answer all the questions. Thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.